taking an in-depth look at the finest student athletes in Stark County. WHBC Sports presents Behind the Athlete with John Bozica. Corey Arner is a senior offensive and defensive lineman here at Louisville High School. He's the type of kid that epitomizes the Leopard way. You can guarantee that when something is needed on the field, he's going to be the first to jump from the bench with helmet in hand. It's just the type of kid he is. WHBC Sports had to come out here to see what separates Ardner from the rest. This is behind the athlete, and this is Corey Ardner. Arner sees the differences in being a senior and has truly fulfilled a goal in starting for the Leopards. It's kind of a surreal moment. It's like I've grown up in Louisville all my life, and um, it's like I've always wanted to play football on Friday nights and want to start for the Louisville Leopards, and now I'm here, and you know, it's just kind of crazy how I don't have that much time left. In playing, Corey has discovered how Leopard Nation is different and what makes having a Leopard helmet in your locker just so special. On Friday nights, I mean, almost everyone's here, just just packed. I mean, the whole town's here, and a lot of our teams have been so good in the past, and it's just, that's what has drawn this community together and to being able to gather around a sport like football because of our winning tradition. According to Arner's coach, John DeMarco, Arner's attitude makes carrying the winning tradition doable. Ever since we started weight room in January, he never misses a session. Uh, through our summer conditioning, never misses a session. Uh, he goes 100% all the time. Uh, he goes uh, above and beyond what we ask of him. And uh, he's performed uh, above and beyond what we thought he would. He's just been a uh, uh, tremendous asset for us. DeMarco explains how coaches throughout the years from Hap Lillick to the present have made Louisville, Louisville. It was established long before I got here. One of our coaches that is a bit older than me yet, uh, he always talks about uh, uh, each team coming along as a torchbearer and it's important for them to take the torch from the past and carry it to the future. And, uh, uh, you know, as I walk down our hall in the high school, the first thing I notice is a football painted 1924, 10-0. Uh, so the tradition has been here for some time. And uh, growing up in Stark County, uh, I was always aware that uh, Louisville was a major player in uh, Stark County football, and uh, one of our goals is to continue to do that. Since 1990, part of carrying that torch has been playing in the Northeastern Buckeye Conference. In 2016, Louisville was voted out of the conference by the other member schools. Arner and the seniors have developed a motto this year, and that is too good to be forgotten. Arner explains. We want the teams that are kicking us out to remember us for basically our winning tradition and like we don't want them to just kick us out and just basically forget us for you know um, we want to perform to the best of our ability so that we're not forgotten so no more Marlington Minerva Alliance Canton South or any other NBC matchups on the schedule which Arner says has a big effect on the fans I just think the community is mad that we won't be able to play games with these other teams that have basically just kicked us out of the NBC because I mean they grew up watching those same games when they were younger and playing those same, game, same games when they were my age and to just see those um, to just see those uh, rivalries end it's just kind of I'm kind of angry about it. Ultimately it's a special year for Arner and his seniors as they don't want the league to forget them. But Coach DeMarco puts it into perspective. We knew it was coming for some time and, and you know, as coaches, you don't look in the rear view mirror much. You're always looking forward, you know, where we're going next. So that's kind of where we're looking, what we're gonna do next. So Arner may not be the loudest kid on the roster. He may not be the most athletic kid here at Louisville, but he understands his place on the team and his teammates respect him for that. And the bottom line is his class his senior class. They understand their place in the Leopard football tradition. For WHBC Sports, I'm John Bazika.
WHBC Sports presents Behind the Athlete with John Bazika, taking an in-depth look at the finest student athletes in Stark County.